In this video, I'm gonna show you a better way to set up your Lofty landing pages. These are the exact settings that have gotten me over 88,000 leads in Lofty, generating over $14.3 million in sales opportunities for gross commission income as a realtor, and closed $2.95 million in commission. It's also allowed me to meet Alex Hermosi and win the school games. So I'm gonna show you exactly, exactly, exactly how I do this. So let's go. Here we are in Lofty, go to marketing, click on landing pages, and what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to select listing search campaign. I have tested the ones with maps, with all sorts of different variations. This one converts the best, so just select listing search campaign, and let's get started. So we'll name this page Zillow, assuming we're gonna use a Zillow type strategy. I usually name it Google Pay Per Click, or Google Pay Per Click is the source, because I usually do uh, Google Pay Per Click to get traffic, click save. Oh, already has it, of course. So let's just name it something else, Zillow 8. We're gonna click save, then it's gonna go into the actual uh, landing page settings. This is where the real magic is. So the default settings are gonna be what they are. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm gonna set it up as far as how the listings present, and as well as what the settings of the back end of the page are. So let's click on settings right here. Listing source as all usually works fairly well. What I like to do is I like to change the listing sort to latest listing. So instead of sor uh, short sorting it by default, we're gonna sort it by latest listing. Like that, click got it. Now it's only showing properties, um, not only, but it's showing properties that are the latest, most recent listings first. This is typically what a home buyer is gonna be looking for. So click publish, make sure that saves. And next up, what we're gonna do is go into here where it says settings. So in settings, there's the page name, there's the URL, and here's a real big one, page style. So with header and footer is the way, uh, the way it looks right now. You can see my logo right here, Countrywide Real Estate Group. For a real estate uh, search campaign, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do no header with footer. I don't actually wanna show my logo right off the bat because these people are just looking for listings. They're not looking for Countrywide Real Estate Group. They may not even know who we are, and this could actually scare them away. We want it to look like a portal that's just gonna give them the information that they want so that they can be successful. So no header with footer. The reason I include footer is we wanna remain compliant with our real estate boards, and you'll have all the information that's required as far as uh, MLS disclaimers and your contact information and who you are in the footer of the site. So lead type buyer. The next big one is lead registration. So what's gonna trigger somebody actually signing up on this website? <clears throat> so I do lead detail or listing detail pages, and then how to trigger, I click require uh, registration based on page views and set it as one. There has been millions of leads generated across all real estate CRMs. I've been in touch with many of them and many of their chief technology officers, and I've seen the data and nothing outperforms this setting. I promise you, you can try other ones if you want, but it will cost more per lead. This will cost less per lead. I'm averaging around a dollar a lead over 86,000 leads with this exact setting. So scroll down. You can leave ad third party registration on uh, as a caveat. If you do, you'll get lead cost a bit lower, but the quality will be a bit lower as well because it's easier and there's less friction for them to sign up. So if you do want a little bit better quality, uncheck this, just know that your lead cost will go up. So I'm gonna leave it on for now because you just never know how well it's gonna perform until you test it. Scroll down, scroll down. I leave save welcome email on for, for uh, meta title and meta page description. I'll typically change this to some variation of the keyword phrase that we're targeting. Let's say it was Zillow homes for sale or something like that or homes Home's not yet on Zillow, some variation of that, depending on what the actual offer and the hook that you're using to get people to click your ad and to show up on the site. Scroll down, I usually X out this, and I turn this chat box off. So if you see right above or right below where my face is right here, I turn it back on, you can see right there, there's Anna. That's the AI texting bot. So great once somebody signs up and becomes a lead because she's gonna reach out and try to engage and get some information. But on a landing page, it's just another distraction for them to do. 
So that's a, like a real pro tip in, in landing pages. If you don't want something to do or somebody to do something, don't put it as an option on the page. So click that off, click publish, and then we see how the page renders like this. So this is a great setup, very, very good setup. You may, depending on what you're searching for uh, or what you're uh, targeting, to use a preset filter. For example, if you're getting lots of rental leads and you don't want any rental leads, I would go into here and I would take purchase type as for sale so that they're only going to show for sale listings. They're not going to show rental listings and, and, and cloud up the, the search results. Another thing you can do is if you are looking for, you know, two plus bath, three plus bedroom, only single family homes, and you're looking for people that are looking one million and over. That's what you're targeting. The caveat to this is if you show this as the filter, they're only going to see these listings, meaning if they're looking for something outside of this, they might back out. So it really depends on what you're targeting when it comes to, uh, to your search. So let's click OK. And then make sure you publish again. And you can see that changes how it shows up here because it's showing some sold listings and stuff like that too. So you really have to decide how you want this to be. The last change that I would do here that can really, really, really improve your uh, conversion is using a content uh, block. So click blocks, go content, scroll down. This one right here is the one that I've been using for a decade, so I recommend this one. You can use other ones, but this one is great because there's a, a rich text editor, meaning you just click edit. You click uh, click to edit rich text, and then you can just remove all of this text that's already there, like so. And then you can just paste in whatever it is that you want. Uh, homes not on Zillow would be one that you could consider. Make sure you change it to paragraph one. Make sure you center it. Make sure you make it larger. And then see how it renders once you click save. See how it's actually just held at the top like that? Click publish, go back to uh, edit rich text, click over here for source code, and here's one way you can actually make it drop down and, and uh, format properly. So click publish, and then you can also adjust the spacing after this ad block. So if you notice, it changes the spacing in uh, desktop as well as in mobile. You're gonna wanna test these on mobile too. Go onto your phone after you've published it, see what it looks like. Home's not yet on Zillow yet. <laughs> Didn't notice that until now, so let's change this. Not on Zillow yet. Click Save. Make sure you publish. See how it's not rendering properly. Go back to Edit Rich Text. Go to Source Code. Click Double Down. Click Save. Click Save. Click Publish. And there you go. So that's a really, really solid landing page. I usually, use, I, I typically use this exact landing page setup. I've generated 80,000 plus leads with this setup. If this stuff's kind of over your head and you're thinking like maybe you want some help with this, a link in the description, you'll be able to see a community where I teach people how to do Google ads. And there's options there for you just to pay to have myself and my team just do it for you and have it work really, really quickly. So I hope you're all doing awesome. I hope you're seeing value and have an amazing, amazing rest of your day. Take care.